The origin story of marathon running. Its distance is 42.195 kilometers or 26.2 miles. You can run the marathon or use a run-walk method to finish it. There are several categories for wheelchairs. There are more than 800 marathons organized annually throughout the world. And while larger marathons might draw tens of thousands of competitors, the great majority of those running them are recreational athletes. Origin The Greek messenger Philippides, often known as Phytopides, is the subject of the name Marathon. According to mythology, he saw a Persian ship change its route towards Athens as the Battle of Marathon, which took place in August or September 490 BC, was drawing to a close with a victory for the Greek army. He saw this as an effort by the vanquished Persians to rush into the city and declare a fictitious triumph, or merely to pillage and assert their control over Greek territory. He reportedly raced the entire way to Athens without stopping giving up his weapons and even his garments to shed as much weight as possible, then charged into the assembly shouting we have won before falling to the ground and passing away. The oldest written description of the marathon run from Marathon to Athens dates back to the 1st century AD and is found in Plutarch's On the Glory of Athens, which cites from Heraclides Ponticus's lost book and names the runner as either Thersippus of Urchius or Eucles. Benjamin Hayden used this narrative as the basis for his 1836 etching of Eucles announcing the victory at Marathon, which had a lyrical drawing by Letitia Elizabeth Landon. The earliest tale is provided by the satirist Lucian of Samosata in the 2nd century AD. He is writing in jest and also refers to the runner as Philippides. The veracity of this narrative in terms of history is up for discussion. Philippides is described as the messenger who traveled almost 240 kilometers each way from Athens to Sparta to seek for assistance before running back by the Greek historian Herodotus the primary source for the Greco-Persian Wars. The runner who traveled between Athens and Sparta is referred to as Philippides in various Herodotus manuscripts. Herodotus reports that the majority of the Athenian army having fought and won the arduous battle, marched swiftly back to Athens from the battle arriving the same day, out of fear for a Persian naval raid against an undefended Athens. Herodotus makes no mention of a messenger sent from Marathon to Athens. Modern Olympic Marathon Initiators and organizers of the modern Olympics were aiming for a major popularizing event that would evoke the splendor of ancient Greece when they got started in 1896. Michael Briel came up with the concept of a marathon because he wanted it to be a part of the first modern Olympic Games in Athens in 1896. The Greeks and Pierre de Caubertin, who founded the modern Olympics, both strongly backed this notion. Charilas Vasilakos won the Greek selection race for the Olympic marathon on March 22, 1896, finishing in 3 hours and 18 minutes. Greek water carrier Sparrow and Lewitz took first place in the first Olympic marathon on April 10, 1896, finishing in 2 hours 58 minutes and 50 seconds. The 2004 Summer Olympic Marathon followed the customary course from Marathon to Athens, finishing in Panathinaiko Stadium, the site of the 1896 Summer Olympics. Stefano Baldini of Italy won that race for men in 2 hours 10 minutes and 55 seconds, setting a course record that stood until Felix Candy dropped it to 2 hours 10 minutes and 37 seconds at the 2014 Athens Classic Marathon, a non-Olympic race. Marathon Mania The success of the inaugural marathon race at the 1896 Summer Olympics served as inspiration for the Boston Marathon, which debuted on April 19, 1897. It is the oldest continuously run marathon in the world and one of the most famous road races. Hopkinton in southern Middlesex County is where it begins and Copley Square is where it ends. The early development of marathoning and long-distance running in the United States was greatly aided by Johnny Hayes' triumph in the 1908 Summer Olympics. The early running fad, known as Marathon Mania, was celebrated later that year with races throughout the holiday season, 
notably the Empire City Marathon held on New Year's Day, 1909, in Yonkers, New York. The first five amateur marathons in New York City were conducted on holidays of special significance following the 1908 Olympics. Thanksgiving Day, Christmas Day, New Year's Day, Washington's Birthday, and Lincoln's Birthday. More people across the country became interested in the sport when Frank Shorter won the marathon at the 1972 Summer Olympics than after Hayes' victory 64 years prior. Approximately 550,600 runners finished a marathon in the U.S. in 2014. This is comparable to 143,000 people in 1980. Today, marathons are run on a practically weekly basis all over the world. Inclusion of Women there were no long-distance events like the Marathon for Women for a very long period after the Olympic Marathon began. Despite a few women having completed the marathon distance, including Stamata Rivithi, in 1896, they were not counted in any official results. In 1918, Marie-Louise Ledru is recognized as the first woman to finish a marathon. According to legend Violet Piercy, was the first woman to be formally timed in a marathon in 1926. When Arlene Pieper finished the Pikes Peak Marathon in Manitou Springs, Colorado in 1959, she became the first woman to formally complete a marathon in the country. In 1967, Catherine Switzer became the first female to officially ran the Boston Marathon with a number. Switzer's admittance which was approved due to an oversight in the screening procedure was in flagrant violation of the regulations, and once the error was found she was handled like an intruder. Unofficially, finishing the Boston Marathon the year before 1966, Bobby Gibb was eventually named the women's winner for 1966-1967 and 1968 by the race's organizers, 1908 Olympics. The International Olympic Committee determined in 1907 that the Olympic Marathon in London in 1908 would cover around 25 miles 40 kilometers. The race's organizers chose a 26-mile route that would begin at Windsor Castle and end at the stadium's royal entrance before completing a loop of the track in front of the royal box. Later, the route was changed to use a new stadium entrance before proceeding with a 385-yard half-loop to the same finish. Official Distance The official marathon distance only exists in the metric system because translation into miles produces an unlimited number of digits following the dot any marathon distance in miles is always an approximation. To lessen the likelihood that a measurement error would result in a length that is less than the minimum distance, Course officials apply a short course prevention factor of up to 1 meter per kilometer to their measures. That's all for today's origin story video guys. Tell us your thoughts in the comment section. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Let us know what origin story you'd like to learn about next in the comments. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video. See you in the next video. Until then, best wishes. Thanks for watching.